Good morning and welcome to Gaming with Reg Bob. This is episode 16, Alpha, of the free video game collection. So this is the uh, a quick episode on the downside of selling and trading in games at CX, etc. And also doing YouTube videos. So in my last video, uh, we bought the PlayStation uh, 1 collection, quite a few games. Uh, and stuff like that. There was uh, FIFA 16 and three DS games for a pound as well. So I spent about £26 in total. So I was just looking through uh, my previous videos to try and see where I was at and possibly see where I could move to next. And I noticed that I'd shown a voucher code. So obviously panic mode set in and uh, I rushed straight to CEX before anybody had the chance to cash that voucher in online or however you do it. So I thought, well, I don't really want to spend any of my voucher unnecessarily, but I need to cash that one in and get a new one. So I thought I'll trade the FIFA 16 gaming for £1.60 and try and spend like £2.00. Uh, in CX, so I'd use the one pound sixty from the FIFA sixteen game, and then forty pence from uh, the voucher that I accidentally showed the code to on on YouTube. So that was the plan. So it kind of went wrong very very quickly. So uh, I managed to find two games that I thought would uh, do the aim well. So. Ghost Squads complete with manual for a pound and Sean White snowboarding road trip for 75 pence. So that meant I was going to spend 15 pence on the voucher that I'd shown the code to. I'd get one pound 60 for that job done. Okay, so this is where it went slightly downhill. So I got to the till after picking up the two Wii games. Uh, they wouldn't take FIFA 16 because apparently it had loads of scratches on it. Now... There is a little scratch on it, but as you can see, it's pretty much immaculate. So I was a bit like peed off, but I thought, well, let's just see how the, let's just get these two games and uh, go from there. So yeah, picked up the games, uh, used the voucher that I accidentally showed the code. So this is what I should have done, folded it like that. And as you can see, I've got £1.75's worth of games there. So yeah, luckily no one had used the code, so all good there. So yeah, obviously I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, made the schoolboy error again. So when I'm in CX, I always try and, if there's a couple of, a couple of copies of the game, I'll try and mix them up, the best sleeve, the best manual, and go from there. So yeah, I was messing about. Ghost Squad, really happy with it. Immaculate disc, immaculate book, very good condition for a pound. Happy days, that's going in the collection, Ghost Squad. So this Sean White one, so obviously uh, I only picked this one up because I thought, well, you can use the Wii balance board with that. And uh, to be honest, other than Wii Fit, I don't think anybody uses it. So I thought that would be a nice little thing to have a mess about on uh, for 75p, you can't go wrong. Again, very good condition, excellent, very good. However, so road trip disc, road trip gate, case, and obviously Sean White snowboarding world stage. Now I'm not hundred percent sure that is the correct book, so I'm going to go to CX today and see if I can find uh, Sean White snowboarding world stage and try and put a road trip book in it, and then hopefully. I'll have a complete collection. So yeah, another schoolboy error there. Uh, I'm gonna go to a different CX and try that one again. Okay, charity shops at the minute are absolutely horrendous. Absolutely nothing in them at all. Uh, really struggling to find anything. No, not even DVDs or anything anymore. Just everything's overpriced. Games seem to be a minimum of three pound at the moment. Like even for like absolute battered discs, battered cases, FIFA games, like 
absolutely horrendous. So I say that, but then I found this and I must have been walking around for about two hours. So yeah, so I've bought this Hotel Transylvania 3 uh, for three pound, Xbox One. It's got the bucket, uh, the manual, uh, the little, oh, sorry, it did it. No, it hasn't, because the instructions are on the in, inside of the sleeve. Uh, the disc is very good condition. Trades in for six pound, so double my money, uh, and it sells in CX for about 10 pound. So I was gonna trade that in uh, and get six pound, or stick it on eBay. Uh, but I've kind of been put off on eBay, but, and I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, uh, my son now wants to keep that, even though we've not got an Xbox One to play it on. So I'll see what happens with that. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a little look around CX today and see where we're at with that. Okay, so that's pretty much that. So that's another another game potentially added to the collection or another six pound voucher. Uh, so uh, I did the spreadsheet. Uh, yesterday top that up so we're minus 119 pound and we've got about 11 pound in voucher okay at the moment so yeah it sounds a lot minus 119 pound however i've got quite a lot of stuff well when i say quite a lot of stuff i've got everything now everything surplus is on ebay so if i sell everything that will come to about £120 after fees, postage and everything. So that clears us and we're now, and we'll, we'll beat three. So the PlayStation games that I didn't want, I think I kept three games, but I'll talk about that one when we, uh, when we sell the ones on eBay. So I've got them listed for like £50. I've got uh, all the other stuff, bits and bobs, that'll make 50 pence here, pound here, pound there. And then I've got the uh, knife set, well, did have the nice set lifted, listed on eBay for 45 quid. I thought that would sell really quickly. Uh, uploaded it, spent quite a lot of time taking the pictures. And uh, yeah, it got took down uh, because apparently you can't sell knives on eBay, even though there's loads of knife sets on, on eBay. So yeah, for, I thought I was going to get an easy 40 quid there with that knife set. However, it's been taken down. I'm not even going to attempt to try and put it up again with the different settings and whatnot. So I'm just gonna stick that on Facebook Marketplace, saves on fees, saves on postage. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much uh, where we're at with the game collection today. I will have a look in uh, CX. I'm gonna to go to Leicester now. Uh, I'm gonna go around the charity shops and stuff, try and sort out that Sean White snowboarding game uh, and then go from there pretty much. But yeah, uh, I thought I was getting somewhere Obviously, yeah, it hasn't quite worked out, but I'll just keep on going. Uh, and hopefully by the end of February, we'll, we'll be free. That's the plan anyway. And then we can have a have a look where we're at. But yeah, uh, this I'm going to take to CX with me. Uh, if there is anything that's worth keeping or I could even trade it in for cash and then I get a, a couple of quid, I think, uh, profit. So we'll see, we'll see. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll I'll do another video. So this the next video will be sixteen Bravo, uh, which will be uh, just an update on today. Basically, I'll I'll try and get that online uh, a couple of days after this one, or or I'll upload them together. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Catch you later. Bye bye.